dope. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Man, it got cold quick out here. It was like fallish, winter, summer is fallish. Now it's winter. It's cold. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. But uh, yeah, Eddie Hearn did an interview, said that Wilder Joshua would likely next if um, AJ beat Uchi Wally, aka Otto Wally, and Wilder get past Joseph Parker. Remember, we were talking about Wilder's complaining because it was talks about Joshua and Otto Wally being the main event. He believed that him and Parker should be the main event. Joshua Wallin is the better fight, in my opinion. Um, and Anthony Joshua is the bigger and better name. You know, that no matter how you slice the cake, um, you know, and that's just, you know, Americans being cocky, thinking they, you think you're bigger, but to me, you just a, and not worth the food stamp in the death row. I hate you, hear you getting treated like boot camp. So, no, they just think they're bigger than what they are. And that's one of the reasons that Showtime didn't want to mess with Deontay Wilder no more because he, you know, they got to pay him $20 million, allegedly, or, you know, rumor. And he wasn't bringing in no return. So he ain't no $20 million fighter. He's not as big as he think he is. And that's the problem. They pay these dudes all these big-ass contracts and overpay them, and they think they doing something. But, you know, but on top of that, you know, since Andrew Weeds, you know, ain't want to fight Wilder, or they could come together and, and fight each other. Now, this, you know, Joshua and Wilder could be for a WBC title eliminator. So, they talking about they could be for a WBC title eliminator. So, you know, Andy Ruiz could have been in a position where he could have got the Joshua rematch if he beat Wilder. But apparently, he had to get another surgery or something like that. And, you know, Andy Ruiz, and he was bull driving around, and so be it. So be it, you know. But I think a lot of people take the wait and see approach. A lot of people think Joshua don't want the fight. Some people think Wilder don't want the fight. Wilder said that he took the Fury fight instead of the Joshua fight, and you know Eddie Hearn also admit that I think he said the fifty million dollar deal was real. He said the only problem with the fifty million dollar deal that they never got a contract. He said it was a real offer, but they never received the contract. So, I don't know what that's about. I can't call Joshua Duck if he never received the contract. Once again, this is probably Al Hammond telling Deontay Wilder or something and doing something completely different. That's all this, that's all that shit is. Exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. So, um, but yeah, they finally get it done. They can get it done, get it out the way. Um, if somebody else is gonna pay for Wilder and use their TV dates, Al Heyman should let them. That's what I say. You know, Al Heyman don't got that many TV dates, but then he don't want to work with nobody else, and it's a reason behind that. You know, shady dealings. Um, these dudes be shady. Um. There's a number of reasons behind it. A number of reasons behind it. So, I can't fault them. They tried to sue you and all this stuff, but you didn't try to play them. It ain't no honor amongst thieves. It ain't no honor amongst businessmen, neither. You know, you think they all acting in good faith? No, man, they say the real gangsters on Wall Street. <laughs> And once you think of, once you think about that line, man, the real gangsters is in corporate America. You know, so of course they don't get along and don't trust each other because they all shady. That's like, dude, if you if you run with a bunch of a bunch of shady dudes, if you run with a bunch of shady dudes, you know, let's just say you run with a bunch of dudes as players and they known for, you know, having sexual sex sex with other niggas' wives. And you find a girl you really like, you gonna bring them dudes around your girl? Absolutely not. No matter how tight your game is, no matter if it's the Mac, no matter if you the Mac Daddy or whatever, Daddy Mac, Mac Daddy, <laughs> don't matter. 
So of course these dudes don't trust each other, but it's at the point where it's one lifeboat left and the Titanic going down and they all, they all gotta jump on that lifeboat. They all gotta get on the lifeboat to save their own ass and they gotta work together. But when you a shady individual, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't shit change when you a shady individual, I'm trying to tell you. Don't shit change. You just can't go on from being a thief to going to flying straight. Especially if you as old as they is now, if you get a little scare in life, you know, you get a little scare in life, that's different. Some people get their life scared and they want to fly straight. And that's fine and dandy. Got to respect it. But some people just keep being shady, but, but you know, at the end of the day, why, you know, Al Hamm should lend these fighters out. They ain't shit no way. Instead of a select few like Tank Davis, you know, some people that's valuable. But they finally get this done. I hope the fight is some good. It should have been happened. But when you marinate, you see they're going to get way more money than the original, what, $5, 7000000 million offer. And they waited it out and made a bunch of money in between time. I mean, business-wise, in their mind, it worked. I went from getting five to seven million dollars on water to probably getting twenty to thirty million dollars. The hell with the fans. We played the long game, and my my money grew and grew and grew and grew. So, you know, made a bunch of money with Fury, made a bunch of money and all that stuff. That's the name of the game. Until they change that part of the game, you know, we, you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. You know, but it being a title eliminator, you know. You might get AJ Fury. You might get AJ uh, Usyk three. You might get Wilder Fury four, or Fury might just retire after this, and you are, or you might get Wilder Usyk. What you hear, John Fury, his father, pretty much saying that uh, that Tyson Fury is on the physical. He, he feel like he concerned for him physically. He could be on the decline, and that's 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 normal. I mean, you got to remember too with Tyson Fury, he abused his body. You know what I'm saying? People think because you go clean that the, the damage ain't already done. The damage is done, bro. When you abuse your body, you blow up and blow out of weight, you use drugs, and you, you abuse alcohol to the point that he allegedly abused those drugs with, that all going to catch up with you, bro. It's going to catch up with you. You know, it's going to catch up with you. It's gonna catch up with you. So, I mean, that's just what it is. The damage is done. No matter how clean you turn your lifestyle around, the damage is done. The damage is done. So don't forget that. But uh, you know, but that's what I say. Don't forget that shit. The damage is done. But, yeah, he said he concerned for him physically, and he ain't the same. What happened when you took take them shots from Deontay Wilder, dude? That's a big dude. That's a, that's a, that's a big individual. That's a massive individual. Punching power, strong, the whole nine. So, but... I mean, would the winner of Fury Usyk just fucking retire? That could be the case. They could just retire. And be like, I'm done with it. You know? Is it because there really ain't no cool point for Fury to fight a four fight with Deontay Wilder? What's the point of doing that? <laughs> you know, what's the point of doing that? That makes no sense. Usyk would want to fight Wilder for endearment, you know, to get on that stage with the American boxing fan and, and get that notoriety, you know, so he could be on that stage in America. But really, once I get all the belts, you know, left, you know, lets that money talk sound good, I don't think I risk it versus Wilder if I'm Usyk. I already got undisputed. I got all that. So I don't, man. Al Ham about to be talking them big numbers. I thought he's about to be talking them big numbers. Let's keep it a bean. You know, but we have to.
have to wait and see exactly you know, how it all lay out and how it all play out. But, you know, right now they saying Wilder and Joshua, they might fight, you know, after they both win their next fights on December 23rd. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they could, you know, they could be fighting each other for WC Lemonade, which Andrew Weiss could have put himself right in the mix. Andrew Weiss could have put himself right in the mix. So, um, we'll see. But I, I, I mean, they, they could get upset. You know, Joseph Parker ain't been, I mean, he been, this would be his fourth fight before fight this year. She, Deontay Wilder ain't went more than one round since the trilogy with, Deont with uh, Tyson Fury. So, That's something to think about for a minute. And Ali Waleen's a good fighter, but one of the reasons they took him over Zhang is because Ali Waleen ain't the biggest puncher, but he's technical. All AJ got to do is stay on his feet. So, I, I think an upset is possible in both cases. That's just my opinion. I think an upset is possible in both cases. You know, but hey. So you got the hip weight boxing talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, get all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Memo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Check out the hip weight boxing talk playlist, check out the boxing playlist. Peace.